Hello, sweet souls. Happy, what day is today? It's Tuesday, the 21st. <laughs> I'm tired still, guys. Uh, we have a full moon coming up. Um, Sagittarius full moon. It's called the flower full moon. Um, but I want to get advice. Um, I did just did the first reading and um, with the intention to find out about what's going on with the full moon. But let's just get advice. I'm going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and the ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. For the collective energy. What do they need to know? Wow, we got a whole lot that just came out. All right. So with community is the first card out. This could be you helping your community. This could be you calling in community support. I see a huge transformation. Things are shifting. This transformation is tied to what you're manifesting. What you're manifesting is manifesting you. Um, it's coming in and it's going to go the distance. This is long lasting results. I also see for those of you that are manifesting soul connections, I do see the soulmate card here. The bottom of the deck, there is someone at a crossroads. Um, now, this could have been you that you had to make a decision or you're currently making a decision. Um, either way, what I see coming in is a huge shift, a huge transformation, and it is a shift that is linked to your manifestation. So whatever it is you're manifesting, it looks like it's coming in. But let's clarify these cards. I want to clarify them. We won't do a lot of clarifications, but just want to do a little. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Please clarify the community card. Card number eight. Community. One more. Wow. With this community card, I see balance being restored, truth being revealed, and you taking a brand new leap of faith. So this, like I said, this could be a brand new leap of faith that you are stepping into your destiny and you're meant to co-create with the divine and help people in your community. Um, or this is the community recognizing that you have a mission and you're taking a leap of faith and they know they have truth and clarity on your situation. Whatever it is, it's fated to happen with the wheel of fortune here. Please clarify regeneration, this huge transformation. Yeah. Collaborating, co-creating with the divine, working as a team, you being in this leadership role. Now, for some of you, this can mean that there is going to be a new opportunity of career or you opening your own business. Whatever it is, it's putting you in a leadership role. This is the transformation that's occurring. You're taking your power back. You're, you're passionate and you're driven, okay? Please clarify, imagine. Please clarify, imagine. Yeah. With imagine, which is the card of manifesting, it looks like you are speaking it into fruition. With the queen of swords, you are speaking it into reality. You could be manifesting a king, a king of pentacles here, so a masculine energy or feminine that's very grounded and stable. Whether you know this person or not, this is the type of person that you are manifesting in. For those of you that are looking for love, yeah, look, a passionate new beginning. Um, please clarify, go the distance, which is card number 47 reduces to 11. This is justice. 333 three, three on my timer. Please clarify, go the distance. Go the distance. Yeah, look, this new investment, embracing this new beginning is only going to serve to elevate you even more, make you more confident, more independent. Um, this is amazing. And if we're talking about business, I see a lot of growth. This Nine of Pentacles energy, this is you being successful. You know, the Lady of Luxury has lives a, lives a luxurious lifestyle. She has all of her needs met and then some. So that's part of your justice. All right. And I also see with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, that is a match to you. So you could be manifesting someone that is a match to you, whether it's love or business. Please clarify soulmates. Please clarify soulmates. Yeah. By you healing your heart and you putting yourself first, setting boundaries, relying on your intuition, you are calling in a passion you'd be getting with a soulmate, a past life soulmate, a high vibrational, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. That's beautiful. And for, for some of you, it's coming in very quickly with the Knight of Swords here. It's coming in very quickly. All right. That's amazing. Let's do the Divine Masters deck. 
one of my new favorite decks now. <laughs> I just love the messages that come out. All right, let's see. And to get my announcements out of the way while I shuffle, uh, we are only taking 10 appointments, scheduling for the week of May 27th, scheduled sooner than later, um, because they fill up quick. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. Also, if you're interested in entering the drawing, we do that June 1st. Uh, make sure you put in the comments that it's for the drawing and Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App. It's 20 to enter. All of my links to the bio TikTok description of YouTube. All right, for the collective. For the collective. Kalima, divine severance. Cut the cords to drama, fears, and limitation. Yeah, I feel like you have released people that are nothing but drama. You have put death to the situation. That's what that card reminds me of. Metatron and Sandalfin. It says sacred connection, synchronicity, divine connection, and understanding lessons. Yeah, I think you guys are aligning with people that are divine connections, whether it's romantic, friendships, whatever it is, because you have learned the lesson. That's beautiful. The collective. We got Commander Ashtar. Leadership activation. Time to evolve. Trust in your ability to guide others. Yeah, we saw you being the Queen of Wands and the regeneration. The transformation is you are being placed in a leadership role. That's amazing. Gaia. Resilient spirit. Earth connection. Stay rooted in, in trust and faith. Yeah, continue to get really grounded. Um, pray. Meditate. They want you to be really grounded so that you could be open to receive whatever information that you're receiving. Lady Portia, overcoming limitation, karmic release. Let go of the need to be right. Yeah, you've gone through a massive karmic cycle, and that's why you're being elevated now. Guru Ram Das, miraculous moment. Harmony surrounds you. Expect miracles. This is my favorite card, I think. One more, please, for the collective. We got Buddha, heightened awareness. Make peace with your thoughts and your world. They're really encouraging you just to be in a very zen energy, you know, very peaceful energy um, through prayer, meditation, you know, getting grounded, going out in nature. The bottom of the deck says Shiva, karma release, the end of a cycle. Debts are paid. Choose your destiny. Yep. Being free of this karmic cycle. That's awesome. All right. Let's do the, the cute little deck. Let's see what advice we get this little inner child oracle with the bunny rabbits. <laughs> All right, let's see. I also want to do the moonology. All right. What does the collective need to be aware of? What does the collective need to be aware of? What advice do you have for the collective? First uh, card is curiosity. It says, I am delighted by discovery. Yeah. So this talks about you, you know, doing your research, whether it's a spirituality because you've had an awakening or whatever it is you're being guided to research. You're doing research. Um, joyful expression. It says, it is safe to let go and have fun. Feeling free again. That's beautiful. Pursue your dreams. I choose to pursue my dreams. That's getting that spark of inspiration back. Um, authenticity. I am perfect as I am. You know, feeling good about who you are, no matter how unique or different you are, you're embracing and accepting who you are. Natural connection. It says, I am bright and blo and blossoming being. Yeah, you know, this can also talk about you getting outside and getting really grounded um, in nature. All wrapped up. It says, I am gifted and grateful for all I receive. That's, they're saying, be in a space of gratitude. And then we have refuel. I am worthy and deserving of reward. You know, that's like recovery. That's what I heard. You're going to recover 
whatever was taken or done against you, you're going to recover it in one way or another, okay? And then we got the gift of giving. I am blessed and grateful for my generous heart. Yeah, what you have given to others, what you put out into this world is definitely coming back to you. One more, please. Oh, we got several. We got transformation. I am becoming all I wish to be. And we've seen transformation twice here. And this says, bet on you. I have the resources I need to create the life I deserve. You know, that reminds me of positive affirmations. Hungry bunny. My life is a feast of opportunity. Yeah, positive affirmations, definitely. The bottom of the deck is self-love. I love myself exactly as I am. Learning to love who you are, no matter how different or no matter what people say or project on you, you're learning to embrace who you are. Truly love who you are. And that's powerful. Let's do the moonology, guys, since we've got that full moon coming up. All right. For the collective, what does the collective need to know for this full moon? Sagittarius full moon on May 23rd. Yeah, May 23rd. Um, known as the flower moon. What's coming for this full moon? It just flew almost off the table. Okay. We got time to breathe out. They said just relax. Release all of your stress and worry because a new start is coming. A new start is coming. Conclusions are within reach. Whatever dilemma you've been going through, whatever you've been worried about, they said they just want you to focus on your healing. And they want you to believe in the impossible. Don't let your pride get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. You know, the ego will tell you not to take any leaps of faith. To not change anything. To not think outside of the box. But to remain stuck and stagnant. They don't want you to let that ego interfere with you taking a brand new leap of faith. They want you to surrender everything to the divine. The energy is gaining momentum on the bottom of the deck. Things are aligning for you. Yeah, but you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. And the ego, so it's an inner battle. The ego will say, don't take a risk. But the end of a tough cycle approaches, and we also see a new romantic cycle for those of you looking for love. A new romantic cycle is beginning. They want you to look at the bigger picture. Okay? Everything you've been through has built you up. You know, it's, it's definitely um, formed you into the person that you're meant to be. Okay? So that's amazing. We can see a new home. I'm using my deck on this one. A new home for some of you. Unexpected income. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have this somewhere in your chart. The bottom of the deck, we see success, abundance, and stability. That's awesome. I claim that. I have a Cancer moon, so that's awesome. All right, guys. Um, is there, let's see if there's any other decks we need to pull from. Let's just do the random cards with the Intuit Tarot and see what we get. Just a couple messages for this new moon. Or sorry, full moon. Why do you keep saying new moon? Full moon. Wow. <laughs> Emperor, you're starting a new cycle with a high level divine soulmate whether this is the masculine or feminine this leads to victory success and public recognition that's beautiful anything else oh lordy um, I see a Knight of Wands here also wanting to come in. We have an Emperor and then we have a Knight of Wands. Somebody is uh, overcoming their fear. 
coming in wanting to give you an offer wanting to reconnect wanting to give equal but this is just the in the energy they're under judgment and i don't feel like you're interested why would you be interested in a night when you have an emperor but i have to speak on it because it's in the energy but all right guys this is your second reading i love you guys have an amazing day bye bye